Well, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another League One match day. It's match day 39, Carlisle United versus Stevenage at Brunton Park this upcoming Saturday. It is part of our One Club, One Community um, ticket scheme with the University of Cumbria. Now, there's only nine games left here in League One before we're back to the League Two previews. But yes, for now, we are in League One. So let's meet the opposition in Stevenage, who have started life in League One very well indeed. They sit eighth in the league with 61 points with a playoff push for them. We sit bottom of the league with nothing but 23 points and 16 from safety. Last time we played Stevenage was at the Lamex on the 9th of September and it was a 2-2 draw. Sean Maguire with our first and Joe Garner with a very late goal for Carlisle back when we had a bit of optimism in the season. Anyway, Stevenage so were founded in 1976. Their cover manager is of course Steve Evans. Play their football at the Lamex which holds 7,200. It is a 10 hour trip according to uh, Google Maps and it is 571 miles as a round trip so of course safe journey to any Stevenage fans making the very long trip up to Cumbria this Saturday now Stevenage a team that of course we've played a few times in League 2 in the last few years and you know we've probably come into in games against Stevenage in better form but let's look at the previous five league games then Cala United with one win and four losses them losses a 1-0 against Shrewsbury 3-2 against Barnsley 3-2 against Charlton a 3-1 defeat against Reading and a 1-0 win over Burton uh, Stevenage coming to this then with two wins one draw and two losses back-to-back -back two back-to-back 1-0 -back wins against Wickham and Cambridge, a 0-0 against Fleetwood, a 3-1 defeat against Peterborough, and defeat at the weekend in a 1-0 home defeat against Leyland Orient. So Stevenage in the better form than Carlisle, but I think pretty much every team in the country is in better form than Carlisle at the minute. And Stevenage probably think this is a really good opportunity to get three points and continue that promotion push that they are on, a uh, playoff push that they are on. Um, where I mean, I, I just don't see much from Carlisle to be honest. Where I can, I, I can defend us and say that I think we might get some points because I really don't. He is my starting 11, though. I've stuck with the 5 2 1 2 that we played against Shrewsbury. I made a couple of changes. I've kept Harry Lewis in goal because I think he will keep Harry Lewis in goal. I wouldn't be against Gabe Breeze to be perfectly honest. Harry Lewis makes some great saves, but the goals that we're conceding. You know, you, you know, well, you know, because you've seen them. But uh, anyway, we've got Sam Lavelle, Paul Huntington, and John Mellish at the back. Jack Armour, Finn back. Dylan McGeoch, Harrison Neal, Taylor Charters, Luke Armstrong, and Jack Diamond. I put Taylor Charters back in there in that attacking midfield role. He didn't play at the weekend. I also probably see that Finn back might be easily replaced there by Jack Ellis because I don't think Finn back is at a hundred percent just yet. Uh, listening to Paul Simpson. Uh, interview before the game on Saturday, so that could be a change there. But um, I, I do quite like him back, and if he's fit, I I would I would give him the opportunity there. Um, I mean it could be Josh Emmanuel, but he I don't think he travelled um with the team at the weekend, so I don't know if the, the, he's picked up a knock there or not. But yeah, that's what I would go with for Carl. Looking at the match, a thirty nine predictions end. There's only three games, so a bit of a different graphic here. Burton nil, Portville nil, Carl United nil, Stevenage one, and Northampton nil. Derby too. Um, I won't be at the game of the weekend. I am meeting a few mates from school, having a bit of catch up, and we are going down to Liverpool for the weekend. So I won't be at the game. So it's probably going to be four 0 to Carlisle United. Uh, no one my luck, but in a realistic world, I think Stevenage will get the three points. And you know, I went with a one 0 because Stevenage aren't exactly known for the for the most exciting football in the world. And you know what? I can't even criticise anyone's football this season because ours has been atrocious. But yeah, if you are new here and follow my socials at see you all for YouTube, consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot when you do that. But thank you so much for watching. I've been see you all for. See you. Okay.